Pearl Tutorial Part 22. What's the time? Well, we can get our local time formatted as simply as make a variable called time equals local time and the function time and we can print our time. So let's have a look. My local time is Thursday, December the 6th, 1.45 in the afternoon, 38 seconds, 2007. Now we can change that to Greenwich Mean Time if we wish, simply by changing this function to GM Time. So let's print out our Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, so it's 12.46 in the afternoon Greenwich Mean Time and in New Zealand here it's we're one hour ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. The next way we can get the time is simply time equals function time and we can print out our time this way. Now this will actually just give us a 10 digit number now this number here represents the number of seconds since January the 1st 1970 and this number just continues to count upwards in seconds forever for a long time at least so let's just run this a couple of times okay 78 seconds so that was about five seconds ago so that'll be up to we got oh seven seconds go it's up to 85 so this is just counting up continuously in seconds now what we can do with our local time is break it into a bunch of variables okay so we don't have to make it formatted immediately now we can um, divide it into a bunch of variables seconds minutes hour month day month year weekday year day and whether it's daylight saving or not Now if we print out all these variables here let's have a look okay so we get all our all our numbers five seconds fifty two minutes the hour of thirteen the month day 6, the month 11 because this is zero based so 11 is December 107 represents the year so to make that into the year we add 1900 to that number which will give us 2007 the day of the week it's the fourth day of the week the 339th day of the year and one indicates we're in daylight saving time so this leads us on to a, a more advanced way to display the time which gives us more control. So let's create a couple of arrays of months 1 to 12 and then our days, an array of days of the week Sunday to Saturday. Okay so also we have to deal with our year so year equals itself which was 107 plus 1900 which will give us 2007 so whatever year it is that's how we deal with the year so now we want to format our date and time any way we please so we can 
print it out. So let's go days, the array days, the weekday. Month day slash hour array months because the months comes up zero based zero to eleven so we need to realign that from one to twelve our month slash our year now that's gone off the side but let's just I'll just bring this down this way so you can see we're typing out here and our time simply hour minute seconds and now we can print out our date time format so let's have a look at that Thursday the 6th of December 2007 14 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 1 minute 23 seconds. Now, if we live in the States or somewhere, we would format it like so. So, yeah, December the 6th, 2007. Okay, notice there's no zero here, so let's continue to format this. So let's put our zeros before our single digits. So I'll just put a, a bunch of if statements in here. They all apply the same thing to seconds, minutes, hours, and the month, day. So if the seconds is less than 10, we're going to make the seconds itself with a zero in front of it and we do this to the minutes the hours and the month day okay now we're going to put in some if statements to tell us whether it's a.m. or p.m. so if the hour is greater than 11 we're going to make a new variable called ap equal to p.m. if the hour is less than 12 we're going to make our variable ap equal to a.m. So now if we put our AP variable in here and run this, we'll get a nicely formatted date and time. Thursday, December the 6th, 2007, 5 past 2 in the afternoon, 27 seconds p.m. Beautiful.